Hello everyone, and welcome to my redstone testing world, and also welcome to another proof of concept video. This time for a calculator that uses a little bit different logic than most calculators, and therefore is able to be extremely small and do basic addition and subtraction. In this case, this can only do addition, and it's a pretty simple setup, just really quickly done to give you guys an idea. Uh, basically, the idea is that every number has its own pulse length, and this is the giant monostable circuit that is a variable output monostable circuit and each of these lines represents a number so it then goes into this dispenser and tells it how many items to drop onto this weighted pressure plate and then based on how, how strong the output signal is from the pressure plate uh, tells you what the answer is in this case the answer is determined by the number of lamps lit up here but with some other wiring that I will show you later it could go into a seven segment display very easily. So I'll just give you an idea here, I'll just press three and you can see you can kinda of see the signal traveling along there and you have three. Now this isn't the fastest thing but it's just a proof of concept for a calculator that's completely powered by a, a pressure plate basically. And you can do plus I don't know uh, five Okay, and so the answer will be 8, and again, this will take a little bit of time to uh, count up to the right answer, but it will give you 8 when it's done. So there you go. So your answer is 8, and then to clear this, you just walk right up to here, pick up the drops, load them back into the dispenser, and you're ready to go on to the next problem. Now, the way you could have this go into a 7 segment display I actually have wired up over here. I'll give you a little idea of this. This is a little uh, gate I set up, and the idea is this. I'll show you what this is real quick here. It's got the dispenser, and I think this has items in it. Yeah, got a dispenser, and as it travels along the signal, to go into a seven-segment display, only the highest number can be output. Otherwise, if all these numbers, like if the answer was four, if all four were lit up, the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 would be displaying on the 7 segment, which wouldn't work. So you only want this one to be on. And this little basic gate I have here solves that issue. And I will show you how that works here. So we press the button, and it lights up the first one. And we press the button again, and it shifts over to the second place. And so on and so forth throughout the entire process. And this uses comparators, uh, basically, to determine that, hey, this is the highest signal. And that's how it works. And yeah, that's basically the idea. Just a proof of concept of a calculator using a little bit different logic than most. Uh, counts with pressure plates and doesn't require the same basic computer that most does. So, thanks for watching.